Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, we will be taking a look at a new program that I've developed called Easy System Utility. Now, some of you might be aware that I already created another program called Easy Game Utility that I created to make gamers' lives easier when using their Windows computer. You can do all sorts of things on it. I'm not actually gonna show you on this video, but definitely check it out on the link in the description below if you've not heard of it. So Easy System Utility, is a program that I've created that allows you to optimize and do many different things within Windows. So it's completely different to Easy Game Utility. So straight away on the Clean tab, you can see here we've got a few different options to clean files, analyze files, and stuff like that on your Windows computer. So if I was to select DirectX, Prefetch, Temporary Files, and then click on Analyze, you can see it's gone through and analyzed all the files. I can then click on clean and it will simply remove those files from my PC. Now I can also tick this option here to shut down my PC after if I wanted to. You can go across to software and you can then also analyze and clear software files as well. So you can see that it's detected some Google Chrome cache files. And if I was then click on clean, it's then going to remove the files that it can. Obviously, if I've got the program open or something, then it might not be able to remove them and stuff. But you can see there, that's for the actual prefetch because I've still got those options selected on the other tab. So that's the clean tab section on Easy System Utility. I will be adding a lot more software onto the program and obviously more Windows locations. Now the home tab is just information about your system. I'm not gonna bother showing you that tab because there's not too much to say on there. Now folders and files. We can use unlock folders to unlock files that are restricted. So perhaps you've lost permissions or something like that to a folder. So this will help regain access. If you've got the pro version of the program, you can also do bulk folders. So if you've got multiple folders that you're unable to access, you can use that option there. Again, unlock files is the same as unlock folders, except from it's for files. Now, if we go across, we got image size. So here I can browse for a image and I can then reduce the size of the image. Now, if you've got the pro feature, you can do this for bulk images and you can then select a custom image size, change the image quality, and then change the resample and things like that. So again, really handy little tool there. Watermark, we can add a watermark to images and we can also again do this in bulk. And if you've got the pro, you can also change a few of the features there and you do need to have the pro to do it in bulk. Rename folders, well, it is what it says. You can rename folders in bulk. So let's just say I've got 10 folders and I wanna rename them all, then I can use this to do it. Rename files is the same again. Large folders, we can delete large folders from our computer. So sometimes if you try and delete a folder, I don't know if you've had this happen to yourself, but it might take a very long time to delete. Now the option on here by going on delete folder will delete that folder instantly. So basically there is no waiting time and you can also do this in bulk if you've got lots of large folders that you want to delete. Finder is going to find Wi-Fi passwords and also your Windows product key. If we go into generator, you can generate passwords and stuff here and we can also create bulk passwords below. You can see again there and then copy them. If we go on to launch, here you can launch files, folders and programs from your system tray. So this again is a very cool little feature that I like that I added. So basically, let's just say if I add a file to my desktop and if I then find that file, so file, browse and I'm gonna to go to my desktop, select that file and go add. If I now go down to the system tray and right click on easy system utility, I can then select that file and it will just open it up instantly. So it's very good if you want to have files and programs and things that you want to quickly access from your system tray. Now repair, similar to what I have in easy game utility, you can use this to repair software programs and things that aren't working correctly on your computer. Other repairs, I'm currently adding options such as attempt repair for printers and also Windows updates, and I'm gonna add a few more features there. So Pro Tools, again, here we can change our DNS. 
So you can see I've currently got Google, Cloudflare and things like that. You can just simply select it and then go apply and then that will change your DNS server. You can also use the bulk uninstaller. You can select multiple files, um, programs and software, not files, sorry, and then go uninstall programs. And then this is just going to uninstall them in bulk. So you don't have to keep selecting the program. It will just come up with the uninstallers. I'm currently working on making it a lot better and more silent and stuff like that. So that is basically all the tools and stuff that are in Easy System Utility. If you've got the pro version as well, you can do automatic cleanups and select weekly, daily and a time. So I am currently working on the program a lot. I do obviously love it when you give me feedback and report bugs. You can do this by clicking on the link. And if there's more features you'd like to see in the program, then I'm definitely open to listening to them. If you do want to help support the program, then you can check out the pro page and you can then purchase a copy of Easy System Utility Pro there. All the support does really mean a lot to me and it does help the program. So if you do want to um, obviously download Easy System Utility, click on the link that's in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish videos.